Welcome back to Deep Learning. So today we want to discuss the single shot detectors and how we can actually approach real-time object detection. Okay, so fourth part of segmentation and object detection, the single shot detectors. So can't we just use the region proposal network as a detector in a you look only once fashion? And this is the idea of YOLO, that is a single shot detector. You only look once, you combine the bounding box prediction and the classification into a single network. And this is done by subdividing the image essentially into S times S cells. And for every cell, you do in parallel the class probability map computation, and you produce bounding boxes and confidence. And this then gives you for each cell B bounding boxes and a confidence score, and the class confidence that is produced from an CNN. So the CNN predicts S times S times 5b plus c values, where c is the number of classes. In the end, to produce the final object detection, you compute the overlap of the bounding box with the respective class probability map, and this then allows you to compute the average within this bounding box to produce the final class of that respective object, and this way you are able to solve complex scenes like this one, and this is really real-time. So there's YOLO 9000, which is an improved version of YOLO. It's over 9000! Which is advertised as better, faster, and stronger. So it's better because the batch normalization is used, and they also do high-res classification to improve the mean average precision by up to 6%. The Anchor boxes that are found by the clustering over the training data improves the recall by 7%. And training over multiple scales allows YOLO 9000 to detect objects at different resolutions more easily. It's faster because it's using a different CNN architecture that speeds up the forward pass. And it's stronger because it has this hierarchical detection on a tree that allows to combine different object detection data sets. All in this allows YOLO 9000 to detect up to 9000 classes in real time or faster. There's also the single shot multiplex detector in reference 24. It's a popular alternative to YOLO, a single shot detector like YOLO, but only one forward pass through the CNN. It's called multibox because this is the name of the bounding box regression technique in reference 15, and it's obviously an object detector. It differs from YOLO in several aspects, but shares the same core idea. Now, you have this problem with multiple resolutions, and in particular, if you think about tasks like histological images that have a very, very high resolution, then you can also work with detectors like RetinaNet. And RetinaNet is essentially using a ResNet CNN decoder, so very similar to what we've already seen in image segmentation. And then it's using a filter pyramid net that allows you to couple the different feature maps that are produced with the original input images that are generated from the decoder. So you could say it's very similar to a unit, but in contrast to unit, it does a class and box prediction using a subnet on each of the scales of the feature pyramid net. So you could say it's a single shot detector that uses 
unit simultaneously to the class and box prediction. Also, it uses the focal loss that we will talk about in a couple of slides. Let's look a bit at the trade of speed and accuracy. You can see that generally networks that are very accurate are not so fast. So here you see on the x-axis the GPU time and on the y-axis the overall mean average precision. And you can see that you can combine the architectures like single shot detectors, a regional fully connected network or ideas like faster RCNN in combination with different feature extractors like Inception ResNet, Inception and so on. And this allows to produce many different combinations. And you can see that if you spend more time on the computation, then you typically can also increase the accuracy. And this is reflected in this graph. The class imbalance is key to tackle the speed accuracy trade-off. All of those single shot detectors evaluate many hypothesis locations. Most of them are really easy negatives. So this imbalance is not addressed by the current training. And in classical methods, we typically dealt with this with hard negative mining. And now the question is, can we change the loss function to pay less attention to easy examples? And this idea exactly brings us to the focal loss. And here we can essentially define the objectness, whether it's an object or not, as binary. Then you can model this as a Bernoulli distribution. And the usual loss would be simply the cross entropy, where you have the minus logarithm of the predicted class. And you can now see that we can adjust this to the so-called focal loss. And here we introduce an additional parameter alpha, and alpha is the imbalance weight calculated as the inverse class frequency. And additionally, we introduce some gamma that is a hyperparameter, and this allows decreasing the influence of easy examples. So you can see the influence of gamma here on the plot on the left hand side. And the more you increase gamma, the more peaked will your respective weight be, such that you can then really concentrate on classes that are not very frequent. So let's summarize object detection. The main task is detecting bounding boxes and an associated classification. The sliding window approach was extremely inefficient. The region proposal networks reduce the number of candidates. But if you really want to go towards real time, then you have to use single shot detectors like YOLO to avoid additional steps. Object detector concepts can, of course, be combined with arbitrary feature extraction and classification networks, as we've seen earlier. And also keep in mind the speed accuracy trade-off. So if you want to be very quick, then you, of course, reduce the number of bounding boxes that are predicted, because then you are much faster. But then, of course, you may miss true positives. <laughs>